Hey guys, it's Brie. So I'm sorry about the light today. I might look a little bit pink in this video. It's because I completely forgot that on Sundays I'm supposed to film Monday's video, so it's getting a bit late, but luckily yesterday was the longest day of the year, so there should still be some natural light coming in and I shouldn't look too much like a tomato, but uh, here we go. So today's video is on Two Peas Creations pads. Uh, the woman who runs Two Peas Creations is called Teresa, and she contacted me via my Facebook page, which is linked down below, uh, to ask if I would consider reviewing her pads for her. And of course I said yes. Whenever I agree to review someone's pads, I say I'm going to try them out, and then I'll give my honest review. Um, I don't get paid for it, they literally just send me the pads, and if I don't think they work for me, I'll tell you guys they didn't work for me. But uh, actually, I really, really did like these pads. So this is the 8 inch light, and you can tell the absorbency of her pads by this little star here. So it's white for light, or panty liner, and then pink for regular. I don't know what the other sizes are, but I do know that this is a light, and this is a regular, and this is 8 inches, and this is 10 inches. So that's the 8 inch. This peacock is super, super cute. When I got these pads, I was really, really excited. And I actually love the wings. The wings is probably the fit my favourite part of the pad. Um, just because they're quite short here and they fold up really well. She's managed to place the snaps in just the right place so they're not um, causing the fabric to bunch here. It looked a bit bunched there but it wasn't, trust me. It's flat. There's no gaping under here which is great. And it still allows the pad to contour to your body. And because the wings are so short here, that means that ma the majority of the pad can move and curve to your body, which I love. I don't like pads that stay flat and stiff and push up towards your body. I like pads that curve to the shape of my body. Everyone's different, but that's just my preference. So both these pads are cotton top, because that's what I asked for. She offered me cotton or flannel. Personally, I live in a hard water area, so flannel just does not last for me, and I prefer the feel of cotton anyway. Um, this I used for two cycles, and this I used for one. Uh, I really, really, really love this pad. This is probably my favourite light pad at the moment. Um, I don't, as I said, I think it's the shape. It's not too flared, as you can see. Put it behind me, you'll probably see better. It has got a slight flare to it, but it's not super flared, which works great for me, because I prefer to have pads with no flares at all. It really did fit well in my underwear, and it's quite narrow in the centre as well, so it really did fit the gusset of my pants as well, which are quite small. The stitching of this pad is really good. So you can see it. I can't really fold it at all. The downside to the pad is the fleece on the back is pilled pretty badly. I think you can see just about there. Yeah. But apart from that, the pad feels very well made and very good quality. It's not too thick. It's definitely not the thinnest pad I felt, but it's definitely not a thick one either. Let me take the unsnap out. Some people like to fold them in half like this. Personally, I don't think this gives you a really good idea at all, but you can kind of see there. So this is the light. And then on to the regular. When I opened the package, I almost died when I saw this print. I love it to pieces, which is weird because I absolutely hate bees. I have a phobia of bees and wasps in real life. But you never, never, never get yellow patterns on pads, and I love apples. So when I saw this, I was thrilled. I'd, I didn't tell her the prints I wanted. She surprised me, but she did really well with this one. And uh, this shape worked great as well for me. Again, it's not too flared, but it has a slight flare to it. Uh, the stitching is... I, I can't fault it. There's a slight wobble here. If I'm being super, super nitpicky, I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, there you go. You can even see it. But to be honest, there's nothing that would affect the functionality of the pad. Uh, again, the fleece on the back of this, it feels nicer on this one. Uh, better quality, but it's still quite pilly. Uh, again, not too thick. Fold it in half so you guys can see. So yeah, um, they worked perfectly well. I didn't leak through them or anything. I had no issues with the pad at all. They both cleaned up great. Uh, so yeah, I can't really fault them. I had a really good experience with them. Uh, Teresa said she contacted me, so I don't know how her customer service would have been if I'd had a problem, but she seemed really nice from what I spoke to her with. She sells on Etsy, I believe, and if I can find her link, I will put it down below. But uh, yeah, so these are the two pads I tried, guys. I would definitely, definitely recommend you try out these pads. And um, they're definitely a good one to have if you're starting out with a stash. I would I would highly recommend them, actually. And I don't say that about every pad I get. So yeah, that's saying something. I do really like these, and they are pads that I reach for when I'm on my period. 
So thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, like me on Facebook and on Instagram and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.